Um, just over a week ago, Craig, um, WADA called for Russia to be issued with a blanket ban from the Games. The IOC didn't follow through. And everyone saw the IOC as the bad guys in that event and WADA as the good guys. But yet, just over a week later, it seems that the IOC has thrown WADA under a bus and is trying to paint WADA as the bad guys in all this. Is, is that how you feel the last week has been? And also a second question, how much money does WADA need in order to do everything that you believe it now needs to be able to do? How, how short is the funding from what it needs to be? Yeah, two, 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 two tough questions. Um, the, the, the first one is uh, that people must realize that uh, as an organization, we do not have the right to decide who takes part in sport competitions. Uh, that's a fact. Uh, we had a telephone conversation with our executive committee and they decided uh, that we would make a recommendation to the IOC. Uh, we phrased it very, very carefully. Uh, that we recommended that they considered that they should decline entries uh, from the Russian Olympic Committee. Uh, when that went to the IOC Executive Board, um, I can only assume it was discussed because I was recused from it. Uh, uh, and the principle of protection of the clean athlete in Russia it seems to have been uh, of, a, uh, of, of more importance to uh, a number of EB members. I've spoken, of course, to my friends on the EB, and I was interested to see that that view was, was actually you know, quite strongly held. They produced a, a complex criteria uh, because of their decision, uh, and that has made the whole thing a matter of, 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 of uh, huge interest. I, I, I don't feel as if I've been run under a bus. Uh, I have a feeling that throughout uh, we made a very reasonable contribution to the debate, uh, and those who are responsible for taking the decision took the decision, and as far as I can see, have been working very hard to deliver it. As far as money is concerned, I, I mean, how big a figure do you want me to go? I mean, it's, it's, it's too early to take that kind of decision because I have to find out the additional things people want me to do. Uh, I can tell you that we have a, a limited number of people employed all around the world, and every, every year we are asked to do more and more and more with effectively uh, the same level of funding. Uh, and I have huge regard for uh, Olivier, the way he leads the team, and what we've been able to deliver. Uh, and as you know, I've been running the hair that perhaps uh, broadcasters, sponsors who invest in and benefit very largely from the world of sport might just think that clean sport was a good idea and, and like to help. The current funding model uh, of government contributions matched by the IOC would be a little difficult to, 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 to change, in my view, because governments have traditionally resisted um, paying us huge increases in our annual contributions.